really, Jonathan Edwards, we, we, he will want to get a big jump in early in the competition. If he has got a problem, he want to solve the situation very, very early. So expect to see something big in the second round or third round. He won't want to dawdle, he won't want to take all, uh, all six, assuming, of course, that it goes well in the first three, which already it has with 17 metres and 12. So Friedek, there's certainly no doubt about the foul. But the graphic there, a little cross next to the German record holder. And let's not forget as well, as we see Tozenoki out on the runway for the very first time. Three jumps, then the top eight, three further jumps before the medals are awarded. Well, certainly I've been very impressed with Tozenoki during this season. Just 21 years old. The Cambridge Harrier. Former European junior champion, had a pretty lean year after that, but he's come through very strongly this year and set a lifetime best performance in finishing fifth in the Commonwealth Games at 16 metres 65. He really is a sharp young talent. And just over 16 metres with a red flag, unfortunately, Stuart. Well, he's not that experienced. European junior champion a couple of seasons ago and Obviously, this a very big championship for him. Just a bit ragged, really looks to be tense, really trying perhaps too hard. And I can't fault that really with him. Look at that, it's so close to being a good jump. Well, they are. Interesting that uh, I've talked to a lot of British uh, supporters out here looking forward to this final, saying, oh, it's great, aren't we going to do well, we're going to win two medals. But they're totally divided, and this is the strange thing, as to who is going to win the gold. It could, of course, be Christian Olsen, but there's a lot of people out there who think Philip Zedo has made a couple of big breakthroughs this year. He can take it to Edwards and to Olsen and to this guy, Rostislav Dimitrov, a former world silver medalist, and maybe just beat the lot. bronze medalist four years ago. Dimitrov, the Bulgarian, has been there before. Accelerated nicely into that situation, but lost it at the end. A little bit out of control, looked good at the start, actually. But then it started to go wrong. And once it does go wrong, then forget it. And that will not impact at all. We're well, certainly looking forward to seeing Kelly Holmes. Huge British interest. Big medals at stake here tonight for quite a number of British athletes. And still Jonathan Edwards leading this triple jump final. At 17-12, but that will not be good enough for gold, I can tell you that much. He's up on his feet. No grimacing, no tenseness in the legs. Looks pretty relaxed. And he will enjoy this atmosphere. A big, big competition for the man who's done the Grand Slam. World champion, Olympic champion, Commonwealth champion, and the defending European champion here. Julian Capek of France, student at University of Southern California, has wintered pretty well. Just nipped over 17 metres for a personal best performance this year. Good control, and that's just around 16. That will not uh, impose on any of the competitors gone before, certainly not Jonathan Edwards at 17, 12, 17 metres and 12. That must have been around about 16 metres, really. Just uh, off the board, shy of the board, really. A little bit high in the middle, had to struggle to get a jump phase in, and then the landing told you that it didn't go quite right. Look at that, shy of the board, didn't even hit the board. 21 centimetres he gave away there. And that uh, is not going to be a very good jump. Padded shoes, as you can see, different shoes to the shoes they wear when they sprint. Because they have to protect the heels in particular, and also the knees. Tremendous stress on those uh, joint complexes. Just uh, wait for his uh, score coming up.
Taking a long time to get these uh, scores up, the local broadcaster. 15.92, oh, he's in fifth, but there are an awful lot more to come, including Olsen and Idu. So, after eight events in the decathlon, it was still Roman Chevrolet, although his lead had been cut uh, due to the pole vault. Erke Newell in second place for the very first time during the competition, and the Russian, Lev Lobodin, dropped down one place into third. Well, the penultimate event, the Javelin, an event which Erke Newell, I think, probably thought he could apply a little bit of pressure on Roman Chevrolet. He is a 71-metre thrower after all. The Estonian's a fantastic tradition in Javelin, but unfortunately for Newell, it all went wrong. Under 60 metres, and that was a massive surprise for Newell. As far as Lev Lobodin was concerned, maybe he saw this as an opportunity of getting back in to second place. But unfortunately for Lobodin, not his strongest event. And he was about three or four metres down on Erke Newell. John Arna Magnusson had already thrown 59 metres 92 when he came up for the third round. This is probably one of Magnusson's best ever decathlons. He's a superb indoor competitor. But with that effort there, certainly would have maintained his fourth place and maybe even would challenge for a bronze medal by the time we got through to the last event. Magnuson over 63 metres, so massive points. 798 points altogether. And certainly since the beginning of the day, the top four competitors have been just moving away from everybody else. Magnuson hanging on in there. A good effort from him. His best of the day. But Roman Chevrolet, any thoughts at all of any other athlete getting close to him, were totally blown away when he produced the longest javelin throw of the whole competition in the second round. Roared on by an appreciative crowd, the world record holder went out to beyond 68 metres. 68 metres, 51 in actual fact, 867 points, almost 30 points longer than any other decathlete in the competition. And with only the 1,500 metres to go, it looks as though the title of European champion will go to Roman Chevrolet. It is a big, big lead. But as far as silver and bronze are concerned, well, big question mark over who will win that. Christian Olsen now in the first round. I was reading a newspaper article just the other day, and he really does fancy his chances here today, but he is up against the world record holder. He is up against another Briton, Philip Sadowu, who's jumped further than him this year. Christian Olsen opens his account to become European champion. Oh, it's a good effort. He just gets over 17 metres. Wasn't very high on the runway, but he's very bouncy, technically getting better and better all the time. Yeah, I think it was a little tentative there, though, Paul. He, uh, he comes into the board, a 